Assalamu alaikum welcome back on the educational academy youtube channel in this video i am going to share sindh public service commission pre interview written test for the post of assistant bps 16 in inquiries and anti corruption establishment under sga and cd government of sindh this paper was conducted on 27th february 2024 this will be helpful for the preparation of assistant bps 16 jobs I am going to solve paper type D. So question number one: Who has written the book *Das Kapital*? A. Karl Marx. B. Lenin. C. Stalin. D. None of these. And the correct answer is A. Karl Marx. Question number two: In American history, which president gave resign? A. Richard Nixon. B. Eisenhower. C. Ronald Reagan. D. None of these. And the correct option is A. Richard Nixon. Question number three: The first battle of Panipat was fought during the year A. fifteen hundred twenty-eight, B. fifteen hundred twenty-six, C. fifteen hundred twenty-five, D. fifteen hundred fifty. And the correct answer is fifteen hundred twenty-six. B is the correct answer. Question number four: Who wrote Jinnah of Pakistan? A. Auguste Comet, B. K. K. Aziz, C. Stanley Walpert. D I H Qureshi and the correct answer is C Stanley Walpert question number 5 who is the secretary general of arab league a mohammad rayat b amar musa c nabil alarb d ahmed abdul gelt and the correct answer is d ahmed abdul gelt question number 6 how many pakistanis are registered to vote in 2024 elections and the correct answer is B answer is correct. Question number seven: The war of 1965 resulted in signing of A. Delhi Pact, B. Shimla Pact, C. Lahore Pact, D. None of these. And the correct answer is none of these. Question number eight: Pakistan's financial year starts on A. First January, B. First March, C. First July, D. First September. And the correct answer is C. First July. Question number nine: United Nations was formed in A. 1944, B. 1945, C. 1955, D. 1940. And the correct answer is B. 1945. Question number ten: Which country boycotted from G20 meeting held in India? A. Pakistan, B. China, C. Russia, D. Iran. And the correct answer is B. China. Question number eleven: The Dhamir Bhasha Dam is being built on the A. Jhelum River, B. Chenab River, C. Indus River, D. Satluj River. And the correct answer is C. Indus River. Question number twelve: Pakistan became Islamic Republic in A. nineteen fifty three, B. nineteen fifty six, C. nineteen sixty two, D. nineteen fifty five. And the correct answer is is B. nineteen fifty six. When first constitutions was started question number 13 the name of first pakistani aircraft is a jf8 b jf17 thunder c jf9 thunder d jf11 thunder and the correct answer is b jf17 thunder question number 14 in which year oic was formed a 1970 b 1975 c 1969 d 1972 and the correct answer is 1969 C answer is correct question number 15 who is the father of internet a martin cooper b dennis richard c charles babbage c wind surf and the correct answer is d wind surf question number 16 how many barrages are there in sindh a 3 b 4 c 5 d 7 and the correct answer is a 3 Gudu Baraj, Sakhar Baraj, Kotli Baraj. Question number seventeen. Light year is used to measure a distance, b time, c speed, d momentum. And the correct answer is distance. Question number eighteen. The oldest university in the world is a Cambridge, b Oxford, c University of Bologna, d University of Warwick. And the correct answer is c University of Bologna. Question number nineteen: The world is divided into how many time zones? A. Twelve. B. Eighteen. C. Twenty-four. D. None of these. And the correct answer is twenty-four. 
24 c question number 20 asia is the world's most populous continent the second most populous continent of the world is a africa b europe c south america d north america and the correct answer is a africa question number 21 the headquarter of asian development bank is located in a china b india c vietnam d philippine and the correct answer is d philippine question number 22 what was the name of first european who reached india by sea a christopher columbus b marco polo c john cabot d vasco da gama and the correct answer is d vasco da gama Question number 23 The Indus Water Treaty was signed in Karachi by A Ayub Khan and Indira Gandhi B Ayub Khan and Jawaharlal Nehru C Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Indira Gandhi D Zulfikar Ali Bhutto and Jawaharlal Nehru and the correct answer is B Ayub Khan and Jawaharlal Nehru Question number 24 Which of the following book is written by Benazir Bhutto A Myth of Independence B foreign policy of Pakistan C daughter of the east D dreams from my father and the correct answer is daughter of the east C question number 25 what is the full name of Pakistan on satellite PRSS and the correct answer is C Pakistan remote sensing satellite question number 26 the direst and wide windiest continent in the world is a. Antarctica B. Australia C. Africa D. South America And the correct answer is A. Antarctica Question number 27 Who was the first Secretary General of the United Nations? And the correct answer is D. Trigu Lai Question number 28. Between the melting point and boiling point of a substance, the substance is a, a solid, B liquid, C gas, D crystal. And the correct answer is B liquid. Question number 29. The Asia Football Cup 2024 was won by A. UAE, B Qatar, C Jordan, D South Korea. And the correct answer is B. Qatar. Question number 13. Pakistan's total liquid foreign exchange reserves are about A. 9 billion dollars B. 13 billion dollars C. 17 billion dollars D. 20 billion dollars And the correct answer is B. 13 billion dollars. Question number 31. He dash on the project for months. A. Working B. Works C. Worked D. Worth Work and the correct answer is he working on the project for months question number 32 the phrase to have your hands full expresses mean a to be sinner b to have too many things to do c to have plenty of wealth d something related to fighting and the correct answer is c to have plenty of wealth number 33 Choose the sentence with correct subject verb agreement. There is a video uploaded on Rathi Educational Academy YouTube channel for subject verb agreement rules. So this will be helpful for your preparation. A. Either the cat or the dog were responsible for the mass. Mess. B. Either the cat or the dog was responsible for the mess. Either is singular. So B option is correct here. Question number 34. Despite dash tired, she continued working. A being, B being, C to be, D is. And the correct answer is being. Despite being tired, she continued working. Question number 35. It was unanimously resolved that the parties dash launching, launching of popular programs. A should be united undertook b should be unitedly undertaken c should be untidily undertake c should untidily undertake and the correct answer is should untidily undertake the option 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सिक्स द स्पीकर डिड नॉट प्रॉपरली स्पेस आउट हिज स्पीच बट वेंट ऑन डैश वन पॉइंट ओनली ए स्ट्रेसिंग बी अवॉइडिंग सी डिवोटिंग डी डिक्राइंग एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज अवॉइडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन दे कंटिन्यू टू वर्क इन द फील्ड ए इवन दो इट रेन हैवली बी इवन दो देर इज हैवी रेन सी इन स्पाइट द हैवी रेन D. Although heavy rains, and the correct answer is even though it rained heavily. A option is correct. Question number thirty-eight. One who speaks less. A. Omniscient. B. Reticent. C. Centenarian. D. Theist. Theist. And the correct answer is B. Reticent. Question number thirty-nine. Question is which coven, which is related to coven? A. Ogre Castle. B. Seer Prophecy. D. C. Actor Trope. D. Fairy Spell. And the correct answer is C. Actor Trope. Question number forty. What is correct plural form of person? A. Person. B. Persons. C. People. D. Peoples. And the correct answer is C. People. Question number forty-one. Choose the sentence with the correct punctuation. Please bring the following items. No punctuation at all. Colon in the B, C a semicolon, D hyphen. So correct answer is B. Please bring the following items. Colon a pencil, comma a notebook, comma and a calculator. Full stop. So B option is correct here. Question number forty-two. What is the correct form of the verb she does her homework every day? And the correct uh, options are A. Do, B. Does, C. Doing, D. Did. This is present simple tense showing habitual work or routine based work. So she does her homework every day. Question number forty-three. Bit by bit, I started to feel. So the bit by bit is. A noun, B adverb, C ad, uh, verb, D adjective, and the correct answer is adverb. Question number forty-four. Uh, he will contact you when he returns from abroad. A noun, B adverb, C verb, D adjective. So you have to answer this question in the comment section, please. Question number forty-five. To hit the nail right on the head. A. To do the right thing. B. To destroy one's reputation. C. To announce one's fixed fixed views. D. To teach someone a lesson. And the correct answer is to do right thing. To do the right thing. A. Question number forty-six. Item of similar rate. It means. to reveal secrets to suspect that something is wrong talking nonsense to get momentum in a job and the correct answer is to suspect that something is wrong question number 47 a style in which right makes a display of his knowledge a ornate b pompous c verbose d pedantic and the correct answer is D. Pedantic. Question number forty-eight. Antonym of defiance. A. Anxiety. B. Obedience. C. Suspicion. D. Dismay. And the correct answer is B. Obedience. Question number forty-nine. Synonym of imperceptible. A. Mean. B. Obvious. C. Subtle. D. Humble. And the correct answer is. Subtle. C option is correct. Question number fifty. Synonym of embezzle. A. Remunerate. B. Clear. C. Balance. D. Misappropriate. And the correct answer is D. Misappropriate. Subscribe Rathi Educational Academy YouTube channel and preparation material is uploaded on Rathi Educational Academy YouTube channel on SPSC preparation playlist, English playlist, general knowledge playlist, Islamiyat playlist.
everyday science playlist so watch these videos and please provide your valuable feedback in the comment box thank you stay connected admission information scholarship opportunities job preparation subscribe to the educational academy youtube channel and follow us on facebook tiktok and whatsapp thank you stay connected